Hello everyone, I'm Tierra Sharde. I'm back with another message. This one is a bit um, interesting. I was getting it about a week or more ago and it kept coming to me, the sins of the father, the sins of the father. And, um, you know, I just sat with the message for a while trying to gain as much insight as possible, trying to see what the divine was trying to tell me. And I feel like it's time to share this message with you all. So there is someone out there who um, who keeps thinking about the things that their father or their parent, their guardian, um, the things that they have done. For some of you or for someone out there, it seems like the father or the parental unit committed some sort of crimes. Um, this could be legal crime, this could be spiritual crime. Whatever it is, there seems to be some sort of violation or some perceived misdeed. Um, this could absolutely be like abandonment. This could absolutely um, show up as like favoritism or some sort of situation that went down. And I feel like somebody is dwelling on it quite a bit. And aside from that, there is also the energy of someone like blaming themselves or thinking that... Um, they're, oh, I just heard tainted, like as if they are tainted because of something that their parent has done or some sort of behavior that um, was taboo or something like that. The, what the divine wants you to know is that that is not true. The sins of the father do not belong to you. If anything, you are the upgraded model. You are the version that is meant to break generational cycles, that's meant to break um, cycles of lack mentality and poverty mindset. You're also meant to liberate you and your bloodline from trauma, um, sexual shame and trauma, um, all sorts of abuse and abandonment. Someone out there is meant to rewrite history and regrow and nurture and support the family tree. You're needing to know that you are free from whatever curse or pattern or crime or misdeed that has taken place in your bloodline, right? For someone out there, this does not have to be your father. It doesn't even have to be your parents. It could just be like the sins of the bloodline. Someone is really dwelling on that. Um, also, some someone out there was born into crime, Someone was born into crime or born through crime or some sort of violation. You were born through that. If that resonates with you, leave a comment below. Um, but the divine also wants you to know that, that this message applies to you as well. No matter how you were born, no matter the situation, the circumstances that were around you and surrounding your conception and your birth and your upbringing, that you are clean and pure, you are safe. You are not tainted. The divine doesn't view you as tainted or dirty or dusty. You are divine. You are sacred. You are chosen and you are anointed regardless, despite and in spite of what it is that you have gone through. Okay. So that is a very specific message. I feel for someone it was coming in. And also, I need you to know that you literally are here to right the wrongs that have taken place in your bloodline and in history, right? You are literally here to redeem your ancestors and your bloodline and to create a brand new legacy, okay? So I hope that resonated with you. If you need to email me, my email address is in the description box. Thank you so much for your donations and for booking services with me. All of that is also in the description box below. And I will see you on the next message. Peace and love, everyone.